right, country streaks. Uh, it's three minutes, moving, panning and zooming. The link is copied into the description. Let's start the game. All right. Let's see then, what do we have here? All right, it's, uh, it's left side traffic. It's good to know, narrows it down somewhat. Up Thompson Road, that, uh, those are black license plates. That to me screams Singapore. I think, yeah, to be honest, the, the road signs, the license plates, just the general look of the place. It all screams Singapore, I'm just gonna go for it. There we go. First one down. The right answer was indeed Singapore. Great. Let's move along then. Okay. Toktika Singo. Okay. Something. Can I get closer to that? Do we have like the country's name somewhere here? Luwombo. Um, sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation, by the way. Don't mean to, but I, I don't know how to pronounce that stuff, and I have to read it out in some ways. All right, let's see. What else can we find here? Clean water solutions for Africa. Improving people's lives. Davis uh, and Shartov. Ginger Road. Okay. I don't know where that would be as of yet, but let's see. Okay, come on. Don't mess this up. US aid. Uganda. Okay. This message is cleared by Uganda AIDS Commission. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go for that. I don't see why they would have something like that hanging in a different country. And to be fair, if you're in Africa, Uganda is one of the more common countries to be in, so that all makes sense and checks out. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, there we are. The right answer was indeed Uganda. Very nice, very nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go for it, right? Let's just go for it. There we go. Next one. <laughs> now, this is more difficult. This is more difficult. Uh, last time we had a guess similar to that, it was the Philippines. But, of course, places like this probably exist in all sorts of countries. So, uh, I will not uh, rush to a conclusion at this point. Let's try to find another sign and hopefully this time it's not as last, mi uh, as last second actually as the last sign. I mean, it worked out, but I don't want that stress again. Because that was stressful. Alright. Now, come on. I mean, you know, in places like this, not a lot of, like, you know, crossroads or anything like that that would require signs. So it makes sense why there wouldn't be that many just around. I mean, the people that are in this vicinity probably know this place pretty well. Uh, still, I would like to see some signs. That would be nice. I would appreciate that. Okay, what do we have here? Some language. Uh, Kalimati... Koryak, uh, Pasti Puas. Now I don't know what language that is exactly. I don't know that, no. Alright, let's try to find something else. Kalimati again, okay. I mean, this seems like it could be like, like Indonesia or something like that. Just judging by the language, it kind of looks similar, though. Um, it could at this point also be Malaysia. Like, I don't have enough knowledge about the languages of those countries to make a distinction. I'm gonna stick with Indonesia for now until I find something that points me in a different direction. But we don't really have that much time for that anymore. So let's hope I'm right. 
All right, what do we have here? Uh, that's not a website. Shame. That wait, wait a. S that's the Indonesian flag. Okay. Okay, good. I. Unless this is like an embassy or something, I'm gonna stick with Indonesia. And don't get me wrong, I've seen embassies before, but... Okay, good. It was right, it was right. Very nice. Alright, next round. Oh, this looks... this looks cool. This looks cool. Let's see. Uh, the movement is a bit wild, but... You know, what can you do? What can you do? If there's so many directions, it's gonna send you wherever it deems fit if you click it. Um, v green, okay. Maybe let's move with the arrows. Uh, can we get a little closer to the trash can here? Language, let's see. I mean... This is definitely in some special font. This is this makes it harder, but it should still maybe be possible. It, what would it be? Not Laotian, not the script of Myanmar. Uh, I don't think it's Bangladesh. Is it Thai? It looks like it could be. I'm gonna stay with that for now. But, you know, I'm not entirely confident in that. And we're just flying about throughout the uh, place here. Let's see if we can find something over there. Some more language, maybe. Oh, this this is this is a place with a lot of, uh, you know, shops. Uh, a lot of people. Maybe there's some writing I can find that would help me out. We have here paintings, shirts, all sorts of stuff, but no signage, which is a shame. All right, let's see. Ah, there's some some signs here, but I can't really properly read it. Plus, of course, this is a I would say probably a more touristy uh, location, so I'm sure there's a lot of like English where it otherwise wouldn't be. But yeah, I think that looks Thai. That looks Thai. Um, it of course could also be Cambodia, but you know at this point I don't really know, and I'm just gonna have to hope. Uh, that's all I can do. So, um, well, I guess let's see. Can we go out there? Yeah, but it doesn't really get us anywhere. Let's, let's hope it's correct. Let's see. Ah, it was Cambodia. Okay. Well, I mean, what can you do? I didn't know the location. Didn't recognize it. That was Angkor Wat. Sure. Um, well, okay. Four. Not that impressive. But I'm just gonna go for another one. Let's take a look at the summary first. Go to high score, back, back, challenge. Invite, uh, same rules as before. Uh, let me know how you did if you played along. Uh, and let's go. Let's start the game. All right, now what's this? Dot ME. Dot M-E. Vuk Petrol. Okay. Is that... Is that Montenegro? There's EU license plates, so that would check out. I don't think North Macedonia or Moldova are part of the EU. At least I don't think so. Oh, interesting. Um... So, so I think, like, Montenegro would make sense here. 
but so far I can't really guarantee that. Um, let's see, uh, anything else up here? Maybe something that just outright says the country name, that would be nice. Okay, there's some uh, Kyrillic. Does Montenegro have Kyrillic? It does, it does. So I'm just gonna place myself there for now. But I don't have enough confidence to just immediately send it. Staropramen, I know that one. I think it, uh, at least I think it is. Looks like it. But that isn't from here anyways, that's even... That, like that's a uh, foreign beer even here, okay. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna... Oh, Montenegro! There we go, that's some, that's some good confirmation. That, uh, you know, that makes all the other clues make sense. So I'm gonna go for it. There we go. It was in uh, Podgorica. Next round. Somos Pacifico... Okay, so that seems like we're speaking uh, Spanish here. Anything more specific around here? Maybe someone hanging out a flag or something? That would be uh, that would be quite helpful. That's. I think the flag of Chile. I think it is. Let's see. I'm going to place it down for now. I'm not going to click it quite yet, but I think that's the Chilean flag. Now, of course, it's on a restaurant, so you can't always rely that that's, you know, the country we were in. Like, of course, if, if this is like a Chilean restaurant in a different country, it would also most likely have a Chilean flag somewhere. Um, so it's, it's not really something I want to completely rely on. Let's let's see if we can find something else first. Let's go the other way then. Print is not dead. A lot of cool looking street art though. I like it. Looks nice. Looks nice. Um, nothing specific to the country we're in here. Or maybe there is something and I just don't recognize it because I'm not that familiar with the uh, the culture and customs and all that. But I guess we can't do much more than move along and try to find something that even I can pass. Ah, there's like a larger road out there. Now that's helpful. Another Chilean flag. Okay. Now it would be quite the coincidence. Now it would be quite the coincidence if uh, this, you know, isn't Chile. I'm still gonna look around a little more. Plus, this is, a, uh, this is a pretty cool looking town, so um, I'll treat it as a little bit of sightseeing, I guess. Even though if it, even though I'm actually just sitting on, on my, uh, like sitting in front of my computer. But, you know, it's still nice to look at. Alright, more street art. Uh, what? Y Yugoslavo? What? What, 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 what? Uh, Valparaiso, okay, that's, that's in Chile. That's, right, that's, that's in Chile? Or was it somewhere else? Okay, so maybe they just had some sort of partnership with, like, something in the um, ex-Yugoslavian region, or maybe it meant something entirely different, but that briefly was, like, that briefly really surprised me. Uh, you know, luckily it was still just Chile, but, you know, just had to make sure that there wasn't something on there that, you know, could have given away that I was being wrong at the moment. Alright, what do we have here? There's some language on there, and it's blurred! And now it's too uh, far away. Okay, I don't really know what language that is. Let's try to move away from here. 
see if we can find something else, something else helpful. Okay, this looks this looks more helpful. A, an E with a dot on it. A set with a thing on it and an A with a hook at the end. Huh. What would this be? Ah, yet to us that That's, would that be Lithuania? Let's see. They have dots above the E's, um, hooks above the Z. They probably have the uh, hooks under the A's as well. They have it under the U at least. I, I think that's their flag. I'm, I'm not that good with flags. The Estonian one is the one with the, with the blue in it, right? I don't really know the the um, Latvian one. I think this is probably Lithuania, right? That would make sense at least. But uh, that also explains why I did not recognize the language on that. I have not been confronted with a Lithuanian a whole bunch, I must admit. So that confused me for a second, but luckily we found like the board of the, like the, the most informative po uh, board I've seen in a long time. All right, uh, Nida is Nida a place in here? I don't know. It might not even be large, or it might not even be the, the name of the place. It might mean something else in Lithuanian. I don't know that. I mean, let's look. Let's first take a look at uh, Latvia. Yeah, the language looks entirely different. Right? Yeah, that doesn't look the same. Different kinds of letters. Some of them exist, but not a whole bunch of them. Let's go with it. Yeah, Lithuania. Good, good. Next up. Okay. Let's move around. See if we can find some useful information. Oh, that's a dead end. Let's move the other way then. Let's I hope we find something in time. This could be many things at this point. I have to narrow it down more. I need to find some language, please. There's some. Ah, uh, it was a bit too far. Okay, one back. One step back. That seems Swedish. There's a circle above the A and the uh, smushed together uh, AE. That all checks out for Swedish. Uh, but there's also a slash through the O. I don't know, is that rare in Sweden or, or is that maybe... Okay, that, that looks, that, that just looks Swedish, okay? I'm gonna place myself in Sweden again and I'm just gonna assume the uh, slash through the O is something that might just be very rare or in words they have you know, borrowed from different languages, that stuff happens sometimes. Um, do I see a slash through O somewhere here? That would be interesting to see, because if I do, I'm gonna click uh, guess immediately. I don't see it yet, but maybe it's not in any town names and just in like, in words sometimes let's <laughs> let's see if we can find something else but i'm pretty confident in sweden i just don't want to you know click guess now be wrong about it uh, and miss out on clues that i could have found because otherwise that would feel bad if i lose a streak i wanted to you know be on a guess where i have where i used up all the time I have and looked around for as much information as I could and it just wasn't enough, you know? I'd rather lose it like that and not by... .dk, that's Denmark. That's Denmark. That is Denmark. <laughs> okay. They have the AE, the slash through O. But 
I did not mean to do that. Do they? I don't see any like circles above, above O's, uh, above A's. I mean, on the uh, map. But you know, I'm gonna go with the top level domain. That seems somewhat reasonable, I think. And if it's not Denmark and I've just been tricked, you know what? That's also fine. That's Denmark. Okay, it just kind of scared me for a second, but yeah, Greenland belongs to Denmark. <laughs> All right, good. Let's go with the next round and see where we land. Okay. Okay, let's see. Is that some... No, it just... Yeah. Warns of the electricity, which is fair. That stuff can sap you real quick. All right, now what would this be? The buildings... Huh. Like this could be like British theoretically, but there's no yellow license plates. Dot is that is that a dot DE? I'm not sure. It 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 absolutely could be by the way. Um but it's hard to say at this point. No, no, probably not. Is it a, was it a dot BE and it would be Belgium? That would track, that would track, right? Belgium? I think that would make sense. I think that's what I'm gonna go with unless I find information that points in a different direction. Um, at least that, that, that checks out some French there, some uh, something that looked like it might be VE. I would like a little bit more language before I'm happy with that. Though, of course, it could also be like France near the Belgian, bo uh, near the Belgian border and, you know, a car with a uh, .be on it moved across the border, which, you know, cars tend to do sometimes so you know a little bit of a little bit more uh, hard information would be nice okay what does this say hmm. commune de uh, herbermont huh i'm i'm gonna click belgium for now and um, we'll see. We'll see if we find anything else that corroborates or disproves that. That would be appreciated if something like that shows up. If I'm, but if it's not, then yeah, I'm just gonna send Belgium. That's, you know, it's fine. Yeah, French language. That's like what I expected. Now, if if, uh, if it showed me some Dutch somewhere, that would uh, that would make me more confident. But we don't get any other language, so let's go for it. It is Belgium. Okay, good, good. Five country streak. That's nice. Let's see. This looks pleasant. Nice mountains. There's some snow there. Wait, wasn't there? Oh, there's a large sign over there. Can we jump up there? We can. Perfect. Perfect. This type of uh, road gives the best kind of information usually. We are measuring things in kilometers. It's good to know. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this is Austria, by the way. It looks like it could be. Nösslach. Yeah, that sounds like it could be Austria. That would be embarrassing to go out on a, on a guess with your uh, own home country in it. That would be like, you know, like I'm not patriotic or anything, but you know, you, you should probably recognize that. Asphenag, that looks like that. We have those types of signs 
in Austria that would all track. Com doesn't help me much. All right, what else do we have here? Dot at. Yeah, look, I I'm I'm pretty sure this is Austria. My guess would be like uh, west of here. Yeah, there it is. Tyrol would have been my guess if you know. I would have placed myself somewhere around there, judging by the mountains and all. This um, looks like maybe Finland, but I would like to base my guess on more than just, you know, foliage, which doesn't really, you know, respect country borders, so it could just, you know. <laughs> be a particularly Finnish looking part of Sweden or something like that. Alright, let's try to find some language, because luckily Swedish and Finnish tend to be quite different. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is a long dirt road with not much on it, huh? Well, not dirt road, it's a... Is there asphalt under the gravel? Is that just... To keep cars from slipping, I think it... Yeah, okay, it's not a dirt road. I'll take that back. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Can't read that. Aito Neva? Hold on. Does Finland have the those signs with yellow on it and not with, uh, with white? I... I don't know right now. We might... Are we... Are we maybe in Estonia instead? Huh. I don't know. This might be the end of the road. I think my guess would be Finland, but I'm not confident. I'm not confident. Alright, let's see if we find anything at all. Uh, I mean, two of the three minutes are gone at this point, and we haven't seen much useful information. Uh, excuse me? Okay, thank you, that's better. Ah, nicer uh, weather. That's pleasant. Alright, so what do we have here? Something blurred. Perfect. Exactly what you want to see. All right, there's some red houses. Oh, this could be... Come on. St don't, don't blur it. Don't... Okay, I, I think that's that, that, that seems Finnish. I'm gonna go for it. I mean, it, it could be Estonian, it could be somewhere on the border to Sweden or something like that. I think I'm gonna go with the, like, statistically more like, uh, likely one, which is Finland, but... I guess we'll see. Yes, it's Finland. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's move on then. Alright. Okay. Is that an F? That could be an F, but I'm not going to base my guess on that. I'm going to keep moving and keep trying to find some information. Alright, yeah, let, let's move along. I've seen plenty of French cars so far. It looks French. It, lo it, it all points to France. But I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. I'm gonna see if it if it's actually something else. If, you know, even though I, I think I'm pretty confident in this being France. I'm, you know, I just want to see a little bit more to uh, corroborate that to make sure we're not in like Belgium or something. Uh, any name I rec... No, no, this isn't... 
This doesn't have anything to do with, uh, to do with where we are. Right, okay. I just want to rule out Belgium if that's possible. I just want to do that real quick. And uh, Luxembourg for that matter. Do you have anything on here that would help me with that? I think that... That sign looks French and not Belgian. Okay, we can't go further that way. And that's too blurry. That's too blurry, okay. All right, let's move along then, let's move along. Go down, we can't go down here, okay. <gasps> that's the Swiss flag. That's a part of, Swiss, uh, of Switzerland that speaks French. Is this French Switzerland then? Like it could be, it could be. Uh, I'm gonna place like, but there's there's some smaller white license plates that that tends to be Switzerland, but I've also seen some EU ones. Maybe it's near the border. No, those are smaller license plates that should be Switzerland then. Let's see. Yes, it is. Oh, that was clutch. Luckily, I saw that. Let's continue to the next one. All right, all right. Let's see. The sun is very slightly south, but you know, uh, slight inaccuracies with the compass could just make that quite misleading. So I'm not gonna base everything on that. And let's move along and see if we can find something else that would help us. But also like, Guesses like that could be the end of the road. Like, if we don't find anything, it could be many things, really. Let's see. Anything else? There doesn't seem to be much on the horizon either. So we're probably quite far away from a town and it wouldn't really make sense to just place, uh, like, road signs in the middle of nowhere. Coto Privado de Casa. Okay, so maybe Spanish? Not sure. Was there something on the horizon? No, I I, I thought I saw some sort of uh, like, what's it called? Like some big sign. Ah, no, maybe I just saw the roof of a house from a distance. That would make sense. Do you have anything written? That would be visible from the street, no? That's a shame. That's a shame. Alright. Well, what could it be then? Let's see. Ah, there's a road sign. Very good, very good. Uh, Villa Nueva, Puebla. Those don't really ring a bell, sadly. So. I'm gonna have to move along and hope that I find something else in addition that could, uh, you know, that could help me just really pin down where we are. Because there's plenty of countries that speak Spanish and, you know, especially if it's in... I've never been to South America, so I don't know what the countries look like exactly. All right, we are starting to run out of time. Let's take another last look at the sun. Sli it looks slightly north. Is it maybe like, could it be Peru or Bolivia or something? I'm gonna go, I don't know. I don't know which one it could. I'm gonna stick with Bolivia. Oh, we were just in Spain. So the compass was... Well, maybe it was just the season we were in. Okay. That also makes sense. I guess. Yeah. Okay, sure. I mean, we didn't have a lot of information. I pinned down that it's Spanish. 
So, <laughs> that wasn't really enough to make an exact guess. But hey, uh, a streak of eight isn't that bad. I'm okay with that. 